Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. I am in the process currently of making a whole lot of jailbreak tutorials for old iPhones that I own. As well as iPod Touches as well. And the one I've been the most scared for is the 3GS, and there's a very simple reason why. The jailbreak tool for the 3GS, or specifically iOS 6, is the most unreliable crappy, failure-prone tool I have ever used to jailbreak an iPhone. It seems to work completely differently on other, on any computer you try it on, and you'll always come across some issue. Nonetheless, I'm gonna try my best here to make a proper tutorial. So, first things first, operating system. This is something you must consider when preparing to jailbreak your device. Newer operating systems, specifically Windows 10, will cause problems galore and break a lot of these old jailbreak tools that are pushing 10 or even over 10 years old at this point. And that's normal, and unfortunately it's a reality that we're facing even more and more lately, and there's not much we can do about that, unfortunately. But, luckily for this particular tool, P06S Pone, I have successfully used it to jailbreak my iPhone 3GS on Windows 10 in the past. It was on a different computer from the one I own today, and an older update to Windows 10, so I can't guarantee that you'll be able to get it working, and in fact, I can't guarantee that you'll be able to get it working on any version of Windows, simply due to how unreliable it is. But I'm going to do my best in this video to give you the best chance of it working. So, as always, I will be using my trusty late 2006 black MacBook here, which I use because it's dual booted with Windows 7. And uh, this particular Windows install, combined with the version of iTunes I use and the hardware itself, always seems to be pretty darn reliable when using these old cranky jailbreak tools. Of course, you can use your average Windows PC for this as well. And as I said before, even new computers could work, unlike using Red Snow, where it's just a no-go on Windows 10. Uh, but... All you have to look out for is that your Windows install isn't too bloated. I've had that cause issues before, uh, so just keep that in mind. Once we've got OS install out of the way, we have to look at iTunes. If you just go with your standard version of iTunes, because of course you need iTunes for this to work, it's pretty much the interfacing software to allow you to interface with iDevices on Windows. And, by the way, Mac OS... <laughs> Ugh, I'd make Mac tutorials. Obviously, I have Macs, but oh, it's a pain because if you have a Mac and you're trying to do this, what like what I'm about to say, you need an old version of iTunes. If you just go launch this on your standard PC with the latest version of iTunes installed, it'll tell you, please install iTunes. It needs it for this tool to work, even though you've already got it work working, which has got to be the, one of the most frustrating errors. But no, some newer I, version of iTunes broke this tool, and yeah, you need an older version of iTunes. I believe like iTunes 12.0.x will work, but the version I always use is iTunes 11.2, which is what I've got right here, and it's the version I will have linked in the description. Just make sure you get the 64-bit or 32-bit version, depending on what computer you have. Uh, next up, uh, we have to explain why this isn't as easy on Mac. Any version of macOS version Lion or newer, which is 10.7, will update iTunes to iTunes 12 automatically, and chances are if you have a Mac, you're either running a version without iTunes installed at all, or you're running a version with a two new version, unless you have Snow Leopard. I'm not sure if Lion in particular installs 12.0 or something, because early versions of iTunes 12, I believe, do work. Uh, so that may still work, but chances are you need Snow Leopard or older, and most people simply don't have access to that. And there, it's very, very difficult to downgrade iTunes on macOS. 
and so pretty much you're screwed, which is why I don't do macOS tutorials. This is all for Windows. Just if you just know to moving on from that tangent, if you already have a newer version of iTunes installed, when you go to uninstall it before installing 11.2, also uninstall all other Apple software you have on your computer, but mainly the most important thing to under to uninstall is the Apple mobile device drivers because uh, if you keep somehow keep the newer device drivers, it still won't work. You may get issues with your device not being detected by the tool. Now, uh, once you've got the older version of iTunes installed, reboot your device. This is very important or the drivers will not take effect and the tool will still not work. Next, other issues you can occur that can occur with this tool because usually that's where it ends. Then the tool will work fine. That's how it works with Red Snow at least. But uh, P06S Pone is a whole other animal and you may encounter errors when jailbreaking. Uh, or more likely, you'll get to the stage where it says performing magic and then the tool will straight up just crash. Uh, I believe that's a Windows 10 related issue. And the way you solve that, it's the same on Windows 10, is you select the app, right click, properties, compatibility, run this program in compatibility mode for, select Windows XP Service Pack 2, apply, make sure you're running the program as an administrator, even if you don't need compatibility mode, it should have that option set by default, but make sure you specify it anyway, just to make sure, and then it should work. If that still doesn't work, you can play around with the settings, set it to Service Pack 3, you can set it to Windows Vista, Windows 7, obviously that doesn't show up here, even Windows 8, and if that still doesn't work, well then leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you further. But really, if it's still crashing, not failing, crashing, you may just have to try a different computer. And that's just the way these things work sometimes with this tool. It's very fickle. But now I'll show you what a successful run looks like. So I'm going to launch the tool after doing all the stuff I mentioned before. On this particular computer running Windows 7, I do not need to set compatibility mode at all. I believe this is because I don't think I have Service Pack 1 installed. I'll double check. Yeah, I don't have Service Pack 1 installed. If the chances are you do, that's a pretty weird example with my not having it installed. You may need to set it in compatibility mode for Service Pack 0 or just the RTM if that's an option. Or if it's not, I'm not sure, go back to Windows XP Service Pack 2. But for me, I don't need to set compatibility mode at all. But this is honestly very rare, especially if you're running it on Windows 10. So I'm going to make sure to select yes for uh, the administrator privileges. Then, of course, I'm going to plug my iPhone in with a known good cable. It's installing driver software down there. And, of course, that particular moment, the Wi-Fi decided it was going to... It was just going to die and go out, which means that I had to turn off and disconnect from the Wi-Fi so that it would quit trying to search Windows Update and actually search uh, to find the iTunes driver. But there we go. <laughs> That's not going to happen to you. And there we go. Uh, iPhone 3GS with iOS 6.1.6. .6, that detected. Uh, you can also use this for the 4th gen iPod Touch, by the way. In fact, I just did that a moment ago. And there you go. Cydia. So... It does work with that device as well. And it should also work with any device running iOS 6. So, well, there you go. Next, we're just going to go ahead and hit jailbreak. And it needs the internet. Forgot about that. I'm going to go re-enable that. It needs the internet so that it can get some files from Apple. So, there we go. Let's see, is my internet back up? Well, it shouldn't take this long, so I think my internet... Yep, yeah, there. No internet. Oh, this is fun. Got a look. And, yeah. See what I mean about this thing crashing? Like, come on. <laughs> that was enough to crash it. Uh... And there we go. Jailbreak failed. Here, no internet. Guess it didn't fully crash. Guess I'll be back when the internet's back up. Yay. So, our Wi-Fi is totally down. Uh... 
So, I'm temporarily connecting to my phone's hotspot, although now I've got no internet access there either. What's going on? A uh, bit of a diversion there. It should work now, though. There we go! Alright. Now that we're done with that, I'm gonna disconnect my device from Wi-Fi. Alright, so now it's gonna reboot your phone. Don't know why it does this, but it's not booting into a DFU mode. It's just rebooting it back to the normal home screen, so... Uh, just wait for that. You can see on my iPhone here. Alright. Now any second now, I'm gonna put it down. Just don't do anything. It still says waiting for reboot, but any second now it's gonna change and say performing magic. There we go. It just connected to the computer and there, performing magic. This is where it usually crashes if it's gonna crash, so if you get past this stage then Again, it's so unreliable that it could still fail at any of these steps, but that's the most failure prone, at least to what I know. I haven't had it fail past this point, but honestly, with how this tool works so far, I wouldn't be surprised if it does fail any of these later steps, so be prepared for that. If you get an error code 03, just try it again and connect your iDevice to a different USB port. That happened to me once with my iPod Touch 4. I just switched USB ports, tried it again, and it worked. Any other error codes though, uh, Google it first, and then if you can't find a solution or the solution there doesn't work, put a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. Uh, I'm not an expert, can't give any promises, but I'll try to help out as best I can. Since I just know this tool is unreliable enough that a lot of people are probably going to have issues as best as I'm trying to make this. So, there we go. Done. Uh, your device may reboot a few times while it finalizes. Never had it reboot more than once, but it's rebooting right now. So, I'll just leave it down there. And let it reboot. And in typical fashion for this tool, something went wrong. It froze. So... I'm going to hard reset it and then see if that fixes it. I'm leaving this in though just to show all the kinds of things that can occur with this tool. That's never happened to me before. But hey, since it's happening to me, that means it could happen to you. You never know with P06S Pwn. What could go wrong for you? Oh. Oh my god, oh my god, it just rebooted! Oh, oh yes, idiot! Alright, never mind, it all worked out. See what happens, this is, th I, honestly, is there any better proof that this tool is just one of the most annoying to use ones out of them all? That took like six reboots, I was like defeated. My Wi-Fi is literally out, and I don't know how long it will be out, because a uh, technician might have to come, and they might not be able to get here until, like, I don't know, Wednesday? I'm recording this on a Friday night? Who knows if it's not just a simple flip a switch and it's fixed. It did work in the end. You can see here, City is preparing itself. I'm going to be able to update all the stuff. There's no extra fixes you have to do. It just works. And, uh, well, that just proves something like that may happen to you. You never know. It's always different every time. An hour before I jailbroke this phone, I jailbroke this iPod Touch 4 right here. Uh, it gave that 03 error the first time and then worked fine. This time, I go with the same computer, the same tool, same exact cable even, I believe anyway. It might be a different cable, but the same computer, and I get this weird boot looping problem that eventually just magically solved itself. This just shows how much better and easier jailbreak tools have gotten over time due to stuff like this happening. But hey, it worked down the end, and we have a jailbroken iPhone now. So, with that being said, I'll see everyone next time. If this tutorial at least helped you get your phone jailbroken, well then, you can give it a like. And if it didn't, and you're somehow still watching, please don't dislike the video. 
I've, I feel like I've given as much warning as possible that this tool is a fickle beast. And, I, again, I can't promise it'll work for you, but... There you go. I'll see everyone next time. Uh, and I hope you enjoy it.